Yesterday we began to discuss the heart of God, which Jesus taught about in Luke 15. In the chapter, we also find the parable of the prodigal son, which paints another picture of God's heart for you and for me. In the parable, a man's youngest son asked for his inheritance ahead of time, moved away, and then proceeded to waste his money on prodigal living. After he had spent it all, he was starving. So the son decided to go back to his father and beg to be made one of his servants. The son in the story represents us, and the father represents God. What I want you to think about is how legalistic religion would tell this story. As the story goes, while the son was still a long way off, his father was watching eagerly for him and ran to give him hug and kisses. But if this story had a legalistic religious spin, instead of embracing the son, the father would have his arms crossed. He would make the son pay a stiff penalty before he even considered welcoming him back. Not only did the father embrace his son, but he dressed him in the best robe, put a ring on his hand that signified that this position as his son was fully reinstated, and then prepared a feast of celebration. Now doesn't that paint a great picture of the heart of God? God isn't angry and vindictive. He is so in love with each of us, and when we fall, he waits with open arms to welcome us back home. God cherishes the moments you spend with him. Take a few minutes each day and talk with him. Let him know how grateful you are and thank him for what he has done. Then ask God to show you the awesome future he has planned for you.